Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Monique Nicole. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you stop what you're doing and you press that subscribe button. Also, make sure you click that bell for that notification link. So if you see me trying to focus with this one eye, it's because exactly I'm trying to focus with one eye. But if you want to see how I achieve this DIY can in the eye look, make sure you stay tuned and show your girl some love. Hi, everyone. So today we're going to be using a half a can, cotton balls, liquid latex, foundation, and fake blood. So now I'm just starting off with trying to look for my pencil, which is a white uh, pencil, and I'm just using it to mark the outline of the can so I know where to place the liquid latex and the cotton balls. So now I'm starting with just a, a one layer of liquid latex and then I'm just pulling the cotton ball a piece. It does stretch pretty well. So you probably just need one cotton ball to go around your entire eye or maybe two. Now, as you see here, I'm just applying another layer of liquid latex. This time I'm just using a sponge because it can get a little bit messy and I just wanted to make sure I had a base that would cover with a lot of liquid latex. Watch out for your hair because this stuff can get tangled. Now I'm just attaching the can where I laid the cotton ball and the liquid latex. As you can see, this is holding pretty well. It just depends on the weight of the object. So as you can see, because the liquid latex is still wet, it tried to fall. So just hold it up there a little bit. It didn't hurt my eye, even though it's sharp because I have the cotton ball padding. So now I'm just putting more liquid latex around it. And now I'm just putting some more like cotton ball around it just to seal it and make sure that it is secure. So you definitely want to make sure it is surrounded with cotton ball so that it can stick. So you want to let it dry. I would say just use like a blow dryer on a low setting and it should dry pretty quick. Now I'm taking my foundation and I'm going to be putting it on the cotton ball so, um, perimeter just so it could blend in with my skin. Now, I had to use a, a brush because my sponge was not working. I really wasn't thinking it through. So I would say just go ahead and just use like a brush to get around the perimeter of the can. So now that I'm done with the foundation, I'm just taking this blush palette that I have and just to make it look like it's irritated or it's bruised around the perimeter of the liquid latex. As you can see, you just want to use like a light blush type or whatever color you want to use. So now I'm about to go in with some red snazzery paint. Um, just to darken the base of it for when I put the fake blood I do want to give a heads up and say I notice when I'm trying to get like a dark look definitely go for like a black or a purple first and then try to put the fake paint on top it just makes it look more realistic in my opinion Now, as you can see here, I went with the black paint and as you can see, it just, it just looks a lot better than our bright, vibrant red. So now that I'm going to use the uh, fake, what is it? Fake blood. It's like a gel blood that I got from like Amazon and I had put some black paint in it just to darken it because it was a little too bright. So I'm just putting this on top of the black paint and as you can see, it gives it that dark 
red bruised look that I'm definitely going for. Looks more realistic to me. You can also call this like a coagulated blood or gel blood. Um, you know, it just depends on the texture, which is why there's different names with the fake blood. Now, as you can see here, I have a gel blood and I'm going to show you like the thickness of the texture as you can see there. It's more of a sticky texture and I remember, I think I got this from actually like a spirit store like last year. But you could probably easily find it online. So technically, my, like the look is like already done. So now I'm just taking some regular liquid blood and just to give it like that super wet sticky look and that drip effect that I'm looking for. So you can just place your drops wherever you want. One thing that I noticed about this, like even though it like runs down your face, it does stop, which is what I really like. So if you think that it's gonna drip all over your clothes, just don't put a whole bunch on there. Just put a little bit and just put a tissue on your shirt. So just in case it does drop, you don't mess up your clothes. Definitely take your time with the drips. Um, as you can see, like once you start going, you want to put a little bit of here and a little bit there. You don't have to put as many drips as me or you don't even have to put like the liquid blood on there. If you just want to leave it how it was prior, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Hey y'all, so hopefully you enjoyed my DIY with the can in the eye. If I can do it, I know you definitely can do it. I'm actually pretty shocked on how fast I was able to get this done. The only reason why the video was kind of long is because when you're working with one eye, it takes a little longer, especially because I want y'all to see everything on the can. Now, if you see any white spaces or any things I should have covered up, don't be too alarmed. As you already know with the disclaimer, I was working with one eye. <laughs> so I'm really thrilled about how this look came out. I know it would probably come out a little better if I was to do it on somebody else. But as y'all know, I do everything on my channel for the first time. So if you see any bloopers, if you see me curse, <laughs> if you see me whatever, it's because literally I'm not going to start over. I'm going to keep working until the finish. So hopefully this video inspires you. Make sure you send me your looks uh to my instagram wherever i post my instagram link you can send it to me in my dm so i can repost it make sure you let me know about your thoughts in the description box below and also in the comments section and don't forget to like share and subscribe to your girl also what i will say is make sure y'all try to check me out on tiktok as well i'm trying to you know get used to it and all in all just you clicking on this video is support enough so i thank you all make sure you stay positive and stay beautiful but yeah y'all take a look at this i can actually see out of this can so that's good <laughs> all right y'all bye